All right, what's up, everybody? If you guys watching my videos, I did one the other day. I think it was uh, What You Want to Know Wednesday, where I was saying that I was going to get on the New Life Spectrum bandwagon. And I picked some up today for my fish. Um, this stuff is basically going to be my 100% exclusive, nothing else. Uh, I might mix in some BioGold Plus, but that's literally about it. It comes in many, many sizes, so I'll be able to feed it from newly hatched fry to, you know, large adults. So I'm not going to have, have any limitations when it comes to what fish I can feed with this food. It's an extremely um, diverse food. You know, you can use any kind. It's basically, from what I understand, the... Uh, what am I trying to say? The ingredients in New Life Spectrum are basically, you know, used throughout their whole food line so you know one is big interchangeable with other foods and whatnot so you know you can feed any kind of fish this stuff even though this says cichlid formula you're not gonna you know go wrong and this just says large fish so you know it's got an african cichlid and a marine fish on there so you know you can go african you feed marine i'm feeding the central and south american cichlids does not matter so i picked up the one millimeter pellet size that'd be that right there which is teeny teeny tiny, there's my finger for a reference, and the three millimeter size, and there's my finger for reference for that. One millimeter, of course, is going to be for the small fish, and the three millimeter is basically going to be for everybody else, including my big guys. And might you ask why I went with three millimeter, you know, this is, this is the size of the stuff I have been feeding, which is like, you know, six, five, uh, the max attack was over almost eight millimeters. And uh, my main reason behind that will be so that the fish will not need to chew. Um, I want my large fish to be able to swallow the pellets whole, thus being able to assimilate the nutrients much better. You know, through chewing, they you you get uh, expenditure through their gills, which is nutrient loss basically. And with this smaller pellet feeding larger fish, I mean, I might get a larger size pellet. Um, I really would like going with the floating pellets, but or the sinking pellets, but their next size up is a five millimeter, and it's a floating pellet, so I might just have to get some of that. But for now, I really want to try out this three, three millimeter and see how they uh, see how they like it, and see how my big fish take to it. You know, it might be a little difficult for them to see, which is probably going to be the only issue with it, but. What I'll do is I'll show you, I'll feed the little umbies over here. And it's a sinking pellet, so goes down into the water column like so. And of course they're not going to eat on camera because they're freaking ridiculous. There they go. Always nice to see fish eating the first time with a new food. That's always a good sign. I've always heard uh, NLS is a very nutrient dense pellet. It's, it's a much, much denser pellet than you're going to be dealing with your, with your other stuff. I mean, this pellet and this pellet, you know, the densities are completely different. This is a very porous floating pellet, and uh, NLS is very dense, very well packed, uh, and it's a sinking pellet. So yeah, just wanted to share this with you guys. I got some new life spectrum. I will be getting more sizes, of course, but I was just up up at uh, Petco and they're the only uh, fish store that carries it which is weird um, because it's such a very high quality food and it's relatively cheap a lot of people think New Life Spectrum is um, expensive it's not um, if you check you know go on Ken's Fish or whatnot a 2.2 pound bag of Massivore or Cichlid Sticks or Carnivore Pellets is gonna run you about 50-60 bucks a five pound bucket of New Life Spectrum is gonna run you that same price. And you're getting a much denser, much uh, more nutrient packed pellet with much higher quality ingredients. And so you're talking about 10 bucks a pound, which is ridiculous price versus 22, 23 bucks a pound. So, you know, it may seem a little bit more expensive on the get go and they have different, they always go in, uh, they go in grams, which is a weird, it's, it's, it's weird because it doesn't show you in ounces so it's hard to, you know, you have to formulate it and figure out how much you're actually getting. This is 150 grams. And this thing is just packed full of pellets, guys. This will last me a long time. I had a 75 uh, gram 
uh, bottle with uh, 0.5 millimeter, which is an, a size smaller than this that I will be getting for even smaller fry. That lasted me like six, lasted me like almost a year, and I was feeding that stuff every day to fry, so it's ridiculous. It lasts a long time. This stuff's gonna last a while. Super excited to be starting it. Um, other pellet sizes I'll be getting will be probably a 0.5 millimeter. They have a two millimeter, and then I'm gonna probably be either getting the five millimeter jumbo, which is a floating pellet, or the six millimeter Thera A, which is a sinking pellet, which I really wanna stick with the sinking pellets because sinking pellets don't get stuck in drip overflows, which is a big deal for me. Even though I have did my redundancies with that, I don't wanna risk anything. So yeah, we'll go over here and I'll feed Mr. Hoga for you guys. See what it looks like with a big ugly fish eating uh, little teeny pellets. But like I said, this stuff's not going to require him to chew. So he's just going to be able to swallow that hole. And uh, it's a very easily digested pellet compared to most other pellets. And by the way, he uh, ate all like seven of those in like a half a second. With NLS, you're not going to have to feed as much just simply due to the fact of the uh, nutrient density that these pellets have, guys. I mean, they're just a much much higher quality pellet than most stuff out there. And like I said, not as expensive as they seem. They seem expensive. You know, people always talk about this stuff like it's, you know, super high class expensive food. And when you do the math, it's actually not that bad. You know, there's a guy on eBay selling it. I think uh, the 300 gram is like... 15 bucks in three millimeter one millimeter so it's relatively which is which is 10 ounces the 300 gram is 10.6 ounces there's papa umby back there looking sexy let's see if he'll come up and say hi to us as we talk fish food but yeah i'm gonna be basically you know eventually be getting I want to eventually just get five pound tubs of everything. You know, have a five pound point five, five pound one, five pound two millimeter, five pound three millimeter, five pound five millimeter, and then eventually when my dovi gets big, they have an extra large formula, which is a ten millimeter pellet. Which is, you know, if that's eight right there, I think that's going to be a little bit bigger. So that'll be for him when he gets monster size, and my umbies and other fish as they get bigger. But I'm definitely going to try the smaller pellets for the big fish. It is weird, you know, feeding a smaller pellet. you got to keep a little better track of how many you're doing. I might, like, get a little measuring spoon or something to uh, help with that. Throw a little bit in here for these fry. They're always hungry. But like I said, it's great to see fry feeding day number one right here with food. And these guys are already going crazy for it. They love it. Uh, the Freds are the only ones that can eat the stuff right now, but... They'll get to it. There's the dove eyes. And now that we're on eight minutes, it's probably time to cut this out. But just wanted to share with everybody. Got on the New Life Spectrum bandwagon. If you're out there watching my videos, uh, try the stuff out. And I'm going to say, you know, if you can use New Life Spectrum and not use anything else, and your fish are going to be as healthy as ever. They're going to be, you know, it's going to be the best quality food for your fish. And, uh, I've actually done my research on that other than the last time I said that about a different food that I was wrong about. This stuff, you know, like I said, if you've read through that article, you know what I'm talking about. And if you haven't, go check it out in my other video. I posted up a link to it. I might even post another one with this video. All right. As always, thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, I did keep Mr. Fred. I didn't take him to the fish store today. And uh, we'll hit you back with more videos later. Peace.